item is uh, local artists they explain as proposal for uh, the walls of the campus. Okay. Um, we're gonna pass it around for um, photo submissions. Uh, Um, I'm Nathan Swain, I'm a resident of the North End. So I've lived in so the North End for 12 years on Salem Street. Uh, I, uh, I'm an artist. I started doing public art about <coughs> four years ago, a little three and a half, four years ago. Uh, my background's landscape architecture. I designed a few parks in Boston and uh, went to school for landscape architecture. Um, I'm very passionate about Boston parks and about our North End Parks especially. I'm the president of the Friends of the North End Parks. Uh, I, I'm very passionate about the Greenway Parks and all the parks within the North End. Um, Gassy, as you all know, has been um, renovated last year with a new wall and a new playground. Um, I just learned recently that the Prince Street Garage is working on painting the, the whole side of that garage uh, this year. Uh, finishing, they painted all three, the three other sides, but they're now going to finish painting the rest of the garage this year. Um, pretty much the same color, which is uh, it's like a brick red. Um, they have to do a lot of work with the concrete, and they're going to take down the, the steel grates that are over the windows. And um, I would like to make a contribution to paint the flight walls, which are also like a fire engine red. Um, the, they've, they've been painted over the years to cover up graffiti that has been painted on those walls over the years. The paint is about like a quarter inch thick from, from all the layers of, of paint. Uh, and there's patchy different colors. Um, I'm only painting the walls that are painted. I'm not going to paint any unpainted walls. Um, any brick walls that are unpainted, I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to leave alone the Italian flag that's painted. That's, um, not touching that. Um, uh, just, 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 the walls, um, just the walls that are painted um, going up the place. Uh, I'm working with the garage owner to collaborate with what they're doing with the garage versus what I'm doing. I know there's two giant bricked up windows on the top uppermost flights that I'm going to ask what, what the future of those are. If they're going like, to unbrick them, open them up, or I could propose painting those to look like windows, like I've done on the power station um, or, or anything. Um, I, I figured this, this project would take about two months to paint. Um, I would definitely be willing to have volunteers help me, um, like maybe children, school children, or any residents. Um, I'm definitely going to need some help. Um, I'm, I'm very, I always like to be collaborative. Uh, what I, what my intention is, is to make it somewhat match the Snow Hill wall, which is this beautiful granite wall that was recently sandblasted and, and, re, and redone. It's really beautiful. Um, and I, I sort of envision a sort of a continuation of that sort of beautiful wall. Um, and, um, and then I, I also would love to push for better lighting in that space at night. Um, I know we asked for that, and we've been ignored. Um, and everyone wonders why you know, there's a lot of sketchy activity going on at night. And that's main, the main reason, basically. So I'm going to be pushing for that as well. Um, and I think we all should be pushing for that. Um, I also am going to be pushing for other improvements in, in the flights, because it, it's a space that has a lot of potential. Um, it could, I, mean, it's, I have ideas like maybe synthetic turf on the, on the first flight, and then, I mean, there's a bit, we could do all sorts of things. And it would be great to get an open discussion uh, in the neighborhood to talk about all the potential possibilities of, of this unused and you know, underutilized space that we have in the North End. I know uh, three years, three summers ago, my friends and I put an art show together on the flights two times. Um, summers ago, it was a really great event. Um, we gathered a lot of neighborhood people. Um, and that's, we could program the space for the different things. I know people have um, brought the idea of putting some uh, exercise equipment up there, maybe a dog park. Um, there's, there's all sorts of great ideas that um, we, should, we should really be looking at. Uh, 
up the space. Thank you about it. Okay, David, you made a proposal to the fire department? Yes, yes. I have uh, proposed um, to the uh, Boston uh, Arts Commission, and I got approval from the Arts Commission. I'm now seeking approval from the Parks Department, and they're asking uh, an approval from NURA and uh, Munich, uh, a letter of approval before they can approve. Once I get a letter of approval from NURA, they will approve. Because um, I have approval from the Arts Commission, uh, they, they will approve the letter of approval from NURA. The approval is for the sign of the by the community, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is there a cost in this? Yes. Where are you getting your funds? Um, the cost is around uh, $4,000. And I'm going to do a, a fundraising uh, through a website called Kickstarter. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a video together uh, showing my proposal. And uh, anyone from around the world can donate to this website and basically have a time frame to reach um, a certain goal. And once you reach 100%, you get the funds, anything less. It just it starts from scratch. But you can actually go above and beyond your goal. And, um, so I'm gonna close um, it's, it's gonna be about um, $4,000 a year. So would the parks department have to spend anybody else? No, no, no. It's, um, anyone can contribute to this. And, um, and <coughs> any extra funding I get, I'm just gonna put towards more um, home guard and more people. Sorry, will you be posting on Matt's so we yes. know where to donate? That was my question. Okay. John, what's your, your schedule? Is that something you hope to do this summer? Yes, I'm going to start it in, uh, in, in the spring. And uh, I figure it's going to take about two months to paint. Um, I, I have a job at the moment. Um, driving. <laughs> I got a new job driving tour trolleys, so I drive a tour trolley. So that's um, new and exciting. But, uh, <laughs> it's only four days a week. And the other four days I'm going to be doing all sorts of which trauma is the upper deck, the biggest one? So the eight days a week? Yeah. The beat? The top of the flight yes. used to be that one time was the highest point in the North End. It's the close of the because it was the highest point in the North End. And all of that soil was taken out of the to create uh, North Washington Street, both in Triangle, and Endicott Street, that was all water, created by gouging out the big hill that was once in the gas. So it would be cool if a future project could be a mural that would depict the history of that, mm -hmm. that site, including the history of why we call it the gas, which was that humongous natural gas tank, which was there from the late 1800s. Yeah, at the bottom of the hill, um, there's a white wall uh, to the right of the Italian flag. Um, it's painted white. It's on the, the wall between the garage and the park. Um, and that wall, I was thinking, would be a great wall for a, a, a historical mural. Um, I know the rest of the wall, I want to just kind of blend in and make it sort of look normal. Um, sort of stone, whatever. But uh, I would definitely be open to doing that. Historical mural um, at the bottom of the, the park. When do you need the letters from Nura? What's your schedule for that? Um, and are you proposing to provide more information for those votes, or are you seeking those votes at this time? Yeah, well, I'm I'm trying desperately to meet with the garage owners. I've been talking to Jamie, who manages the garage. He's been trying to schedule a meeting for me. And they, I should, uh, Jamie showed them the photo simulations and they're, they're totally open to the idea. Um, I want to collaborate because they have this whole project of painting on the side of that garage. Um, it's going to be a big project and I want to make sure we're all in collaboration with my project and their project. Um, Does so, the plan come back to the at some point? Or is it um, starting in the spring? Yeah, the spring. I, for a vote? I, I'd like to um, get it approved as soon as possible because I need to send that to I just hope everybody's sorry. Um, we see a little graffiti. So this is what it actually looks like now, right? Yes. 
a plain red wall with a lot of graffiti just scratched on black, and, and this is exactly what you like to make? Yeah, so a stone wall with some vines, similar to the, the snow hill wall, granite. Like, uh, maybe more. That's a little bit um, more colorful um, stone, but the, the snow hill wall is, is something between granite and something like that. And the garage would be paid for by the way. Yes. Another question? I have a question. Nathan, I think that looks beautiful from all. My question is, um, as we see on what it currently is in the history of graffiti there, do you intend on maintaining the mural or if something were to happen with your funding? I do, yes. Okay. Yeah. If, if anyone were to tag it, um, I would I would handle it with the tag. Okay. Dave? Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you, I think your budget about the 4000 There's actually these clear coatings you can put on the paint to help the Get the graffiti off easy and set up. Yeah, that's over. a really good idea. But you mentioned how there's a lot of layers of paint already on there. Yeah. The paint you're going to use, is that compatible or would it be a problem for it to stick and to stay? Part, 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 part of the budget, the um, I'm going to have to prep the wall. Um, yeah. Because okay. there's, there's a lot of bubbling going on with the paint, and I'm going to make sure yeah. that's all scraped off and smoothed out to a certain extent. Um, yeah. So it's going to it's going to take a bit to prep the wall. Um, so when you're talking about the 4,000, that's not just for paint. That, yeah, it's perfect. That's including all the filament area and then something to cut. There's a lot of surface area, area um, mm -hmm. between the two walls going up on the two flights. And there's actually a few portions on the lower section as well. And there's, a, there's about half unpainted that I'm not touching. And then there's some on the left and right that are painted. That are and painted. this paint will last for quite a while. It yes. won't fade too bad. Yeah, the paint they have nowadays really is very durable. Technology. If the sun hits that, so it'll last. That's it. Thank you. Have you looked into graffiti busters to help you uh, maybe save us the wall? I haven't, but I'll, I'll definitely think yeah, I'll get off the Thank you. First of all, I want you to thank you for doing this and for doing it so inexpensively. And second of all, going back to what Dave Kubiak suggested about history up at the top of some kind of future. Should include something about the Brinks robbery scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know at the, the um, those windows, I was actually, um, David mentioned um, about a year ago when I came up with this idea about maybe a scene looking through the windows and some guys <coughs> about to rob the bank or something. I <laughs> love that in the garage. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, we might take a preliminary vote just to see if we have support. Um, we get some 28 people going through. What is it exactly that you need the name of the groups to support the group? Can we be a clear I just need a, a letter of support uh, for this mural um, to give to the Parks Department so they can then support it. Okay. They won't support it. Support you to paint a mural on Monday. Okay. Okay, the yellow ballot, you can either start to support or vote. 28 for and one against. So, I just want to say our next meeting is on Valentine's Day. So, if you're not doing something, please come here. We'll have something to do on Valentine's Day.